you know, in terms of Washington style, um, it's definitely more conservative than in other places in the country. I think that it's sort of left over from the 80s when women poured into the workplace and felt that they had to dress like men and basically desexualize themselves in some way. But I also think that that's shifting now, particularly as women do move up, you know, the various ladders and the various rungs of power. You know, as I find working for a women's magazine, it, we're very easily dismissed by too many people. And, you know, that, as I said, they're surprised to find things that are substantial in the magazine. Why is that important? Well, because um, women are human beings, and human beings are interested in any number of things. And, you know, a magazine is a, a, a place where you can edit it all down, and, you know, it's portable, you can carry it with you. And, um, you know, it's very, much the part of, it's very much a part of our mission to have real writers and talking about thoughtful things. I mean, the through line of everything in the magazine is, is women, and how does this affect women? So, I mean, of course, we go into sexual politics, and, you know, we talk about men, and we talk to interesting men, but it's really um, what we hope is a conversation around the things that, that we're dealing with and the things that are affecting our lives in a bigger way.